Hi beauties, thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a discussion on the Milani blushes, uh, baked blushes, and then the Laura Geller baked blushes, and like if there's any difference, what are the differences, um, just kind of compare the two and kind of give you um, what my thoughts in each one of them are, and like I said, um, or like I'm saying, mind you, I'm saying my thoughts because this is just, I mean, like everybody's going to have a different opinion on on what they think or what they might enjoy and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you know, um, I did do a video of Laura Geller blushes. I'm showing you a collection I had, um, and I do have quite a few of her blushes. Um, but however, she does make... Um, a huge variety out there of blushes, you know, different colors and different ways of making a baked blush. So, um, and I have purchased kits from her, and that's how I basically got them. Uh, Milani, not, Laura Geller blushes, I should say, I did discover on QVC. I did discover them first, so I was buying them first. Milani, I actually discovered on here on YouTube from a lot of other beauties that were showing uh, the Milani products. I'd never even heard of Milani before, so, um, you know, the baked blushes are gorgeous, um, in, in any rate, and, um, I just, I was interested in trying, trying them out. So, um, I'm gonna grab the, uh, Milani blush and a Laura Geller blush. Now, these two here, I actually have on my cheeks. One is on one cheek, one is on the other cheek. Um, this is uh, Laura Geller's Berry Blush, and then this one is Milani's Berry Amore, Amore, I guess, Amore, but that's what this one is. And this one's the one that I have on, that's, um, you know, Laura Geller, that's her Berry Blush. And um, then just on this side here, you know, is the Milani. So, I mean, the coloring, you can't, can't tell that I have two different ones on, really, can you? I mean, not really. So, yeah, I mean, you really, you really can't tell. Okay. So, Milani Bait Blush, this one, like it says, Berry Amore, and it is, um... 0.12 ounce. So this is 1.2 ounce, 3.5 grams. And as you know, a lot of them come uh, all swirled, nice baked um, blush. And underneath you have your little mirror and, and a brush that comes along with it. So, I mean, that's convenient in its own self. Um, the blushes are on baked Italian uh, terracotta. I do know that because I was looking that up on the Milani site itself. Um, so I did see that they were baked on uh, terracotta, Italian terracotta um, pots, those little pots. So um, these ones, this one has like um, some shimmer, it has some color swirled in there as you can see. And this is the one that's on this cheek here. And theirs is really pigmented. That's the Berry Amour. Okay. Now, here's Laura Geller's blush. And this one's in the Berry. This one is 0.32 ounce, uh, 9 grams. Um, these are about 8 75 I believe. Um, this one here, because I don't believe she makes, she makes a different size now. That I had noticed. These were roughly like around $31, the 0.32 ounce. Um, these also are baked on a Italian terracotta, um, on Italian terracotta. However, they are actually baked in Italy um, they are handmade. Each one is handmade. Each one is um, hand mixed. And as you can see with hers, 
she has several different uh, pigments in there which um, Laura Geller is the only one in the world from what I understand that actually can put in six pigments or they're the only ones that have six pigments mixed into their her blushes so um, you'll see uh, some there's like some golden colors in there there's the berry colors in there there's like a pink color in there um, a darker brown color so there's there's several different ones mixed in there okay um, and this one is hers on this finger here so as you can see there's the berry more and then there's um, Laura Geller's put Laura Geller's on one side and the berry more on the other side okay Okay, so that one, this one here is Laura Geller's. This one here is the um, Milani. All right. So now Laura Geller's gives a little more luminosity off on hers. Um, the Milani one gives off a little more of the uh, glitter effects on theirs. So hers has more of a luminosity to it um, compared to the Milani one. Um, of course, the, one of the big differences is price range. Um, that's obviously a huge big gap right there. Um, they do have, like I have other colors here uh, for Milani. There's the like Barrymore I just showed. Um, this is one of my favorites from them, is the Fantisio, Fantisio Mauve. Um, it's um, a very beautiful mauve color um, from them. Um, I have the Dulce Pink. Dulce Pink. Um, it's a pretty color too. That's Dulce Pink. And then I have the Luminoso, the All Famous Luminoso. Um, which that's this one right here, which is a very gorgeous color. Um, so those are the only ones I have right now. Um, I have the rose other ones, but I'm not sure if those are baked or not. They might be. I'd have to look on those ones. I'm just trying to do the ones that are like the marbled look. So, um, and then with, now you see how many of Laura Geller's I have. But right in front of me right now, I just grabbed only a few. So I showed you the berry one. Um, this one is Dream Sickle, which I love this one, especially in the summertime. That's my Dream Sickle one. Um, this one here is the Pink Grapefruit. Love this one too. This is another favorite of mine, the Pink Grapefruit, which is a very popular one of hers. And then this one is in Hibiscus, which is a very beautiful color. It's kind of almost matte. matte. It doesn't um, do her... Like some of hers does do the, um, like I was saying, the beautiful glow and and that. Um, let me go ahead, because I do want to double check and see here on, which I hope it still will record. It it should. Okay, I guess it did shut me off. I was trying to go down and, and read more information and um, it did cut me off. So I, I'm recording this in a different way on my webcam thing just itself instead of going on uh, Movie Maker. Sometimes I go on Movie Maker and film. So it cut me off. So I'm still going to be doing it just on the webcam. So anyway, um, what I was trying to check into was um, Laura Geller's blushes are paraben free. I didn't see anything about paraben free um, on the Milani blushes. So if that's something that's important to you, keep that in mind. Um, the other thing, um, there is green tea extract in Laura Geller's blushes. Um, I didn't see any kind of um, special kind of ingredient or anything that seemed to pop out. You can look at the ingredients part itself. Um, it looked to be the same um, as in 
or gellers on some ingredients, but just for the paraben, paraben free and the green tea extracts that she does do in hers. Um, I know hers start off as a wet substance, which um, it doesn't really give you a full on information. I was trying to really read about the Milani blushes. Just the only thing I did see, like it, it was saying that um, you can use it in any way. Like it could be contouring, or you can know it could be a highlight contouring. It could be like your all in one. You don't even have to put contour on or something like that. Um, I did see it have that mentioned on there. Um, but as in for any kind of special thing, um, I really didn't see anything on there, just that they had mentioned that. Um, like I said with Laura Geller's, um, you know, like with hers, um, they are handmade, um, and they do start off as a liquid, um, and then they mix the, I believe it's six, um, hyper pigments or whatever those the um, correcting pigments or something like that they're the only one the first and only one right now in the world um, in the factory that they're the only ones that do that um, from what I'm understanding so now the blushes from Lonnie like I said they are um, 0.12 ounce and as far as I can see I think they still are on the site um, these ones here I got in a kit mostly the ones I have here right now in kits. Um, this here, like she has lots of different baked blushes, like this is even a baked blush, this is Bora Bora. Um, this one's here a 0.23 ounce, 6.5 grams. So, um, and then this one here is baked elements, it's a 0.19. This one's almost close, I think, or is this one maybe the one that's kind of close? I'm not sure now, like, but that's an oval shape. Like most of her, this these ones have like an oval shape. Um, this one's a 0.7, because I believe it says it's a 0.176 ounce. One, you know, 0.176 ounce is what she has now. And this is a 0.176 or something like that, I believe, is this one here. So... It's probably a little bit bigger than this one here, but that's reference to the size I think hers are now. Um, like I said, just mind you, it would be a little bit bigger. Um, and then, uh, get Milani's open here. There's the Milani one. So the Milani one does look a little bit bigger in the container, but like if you had her container and then added this one's one of her flat ones. If you had more of the baked one and made this a little bit bigger, it could be uh, close to the same. I don't know. I, I'm, I, mean, I stink at math, so I don't know. But I'm just telling you what the size is now. They are $27.50 each for Laura Geller's now, the .176 ounce. I believe that's the number. If I'm not go double check. I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember all this stuff and usually I like to flash back and look and I can't do that right now because this camera thing you don't allow me. Um, so my thoughts on, on most of the stuff here and everything. Um, my thoughts are I think they're both relatively great blushes. I mean they both um, work extremely great. Um, the Milani blushes um, you know, they are pretty pigmented, but then, you know, so is um, Laura Geller's, you know, like I have two of, this one here is a Milani blush, and this one here is a Laura Geller's I just did, um, you know, so, and there's the pigmentation right there of each one of them, so I mean, the pigment pigmentation is really nice. Um, I, for me, I think you already know which way I'm going to lean towards is, I mean, for me, my favorite. I think they both work just as good. It's just my preference. I really love Laura Geller's blushes. I, for me, I think the big thing is that there's not so much glitter in her. Like, she don't, 
when you look at this berry one, it comes off more of a nice, you know, like sheen to it when you rub it on here. And when you do the berry one from Milani, it has a little more glitter particles. Now, I don't roughly necessarily always notice the glitter particles on my um, face, you know. Um, I just think, for me, the application that Laura Gellers does on my face and, you know, just the variety that she, I mean, like, this is one of her baked blushes, too. This is a baked blush of her. I mean, like, she has quite a few different kinds of baked blushes. Like I said, this one's Bora Bora. This is not, like, swirled like all the other ones, like you can see. But, um, you know, like, she just has such a variety. Um, the one thing I haven't tried is the mattes from Milani. So I can't speak, because, like, to me, this, I think, seems to be the matte in um, uh, Laura Geller's blushes. Um, put my hand there. This seems to be the matte one from her. And... Um, right there it is and so I can't really say I haven't tried the matte ones unfortunately from the Milani collection of of these ones here so um, you know but I am I don't regret getting these I mean I love I love the Milani blushes in their own way and I love my Laura Geller blushes in their own way but if somebody said which one I, myself, I would pick the Laura Geller blushes just because I like the quality, um, you know, and the paraben free, and just knowing that there's green extra. I mean, being of more mature skin, I just find that Laura Geller's blushes just is a more grab for me. Um, I haven't purchased a morning blush in a long time. Not that I don't want to, but like I said, just Laura Geller's just, they're gorgeous, they're lovely. Um, my favorite blush, like I said, and I didn't see it on their site, so I don't know if it's not anymore or what. Hopefully that's not the case and you can get it, but that's the mauve one, the Fantasio mauve. That's my favorite Milani one of all. I love that one. That one's so gorgeous. Um, now, like I said, price range, totally different. They're 2750 to 875 Um... But you have to figure on the quality and the ingredients in each one and what goes into them also is a big factor. Like, I definitely know she actually has a place in Italy. Like, every these, these blushes are made in Italy on the terracotta pot and all this. I know all that stuff. For these, I couldn't find really too much information on that part. I mean, they are baked on a terracotta Italian pot. But are they just, are they done here? Are they over in Italy? You know, like, um, not that that would even, I guess I shouldn't say that would really matter. But it's just like, it's kind of interesting um, that she has people actually doing handmade with it. You know, are these handmade, you know, um, they're not paraben free. So, all in all, I would say if it was me and somebody asked me, like, should I get a Laura Geller blush or should I just go ahead and get the Milani blush? I would say get a Laura Geller blush and get a Milani blush and see for yourself, like, you know, because we are all different, of which one you prefer, which one seems to work great for you, which one you like the most, um, and then just go from there. That's what I would say to somebody. So I don't know if this is going to be very helpful or not. I tried making it as helpful as possible, um, but uh, somebody had asked me about doing this, and I thought, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So that's my whole thoughts on it, and just from what I know from each of the blushes. So, um, but that doesn't mean I don't like Milani blushes, neither. Just I favor towards my Laura Geller, and we all have them items that we favor just a little bit more than the other things, so you know what I mean. So anyway, I really appreciate you all watching, and thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a good thumbs up, and if you'd like to join me and you're not already subscribed, please do so, and you can go ahead and join me each week. Um, and as always, beauties, you know my saying, um, just make... <laughs>
my god, I forgot what I was saying. Is that not crazy? Just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.